The northwest region of Vietnam is home to more than 20 ethnic minorities, including the Hmong, Thai, Zhao, Tay, Qing, and Nung. While people here depend on the land for their livelihoods, years of monoculture agriculture on these sloping lands has led to soil erosion, nutrient depletion, and declining yields. Harsh weather exacerbates these conditions, aggravating soil and water loss. To combat the degradation, farmers are forced to resort to costly chemical fertilizers. Income from maize is very low. It's not enough to provide for my family. By growing cereals on the slopes, I saw the soil erode and the yields decline. Agroforestry is a technology that may offer some much needed relief. Simply, the practice of agroforestry is the integration of trees in agricultural landscapes. When managed properly, this integration can contribute to enhanced crop yields, conservation of soil resources, improved microclimate, and ultimately, increase incomes for farmers. The World Agroforestry Center, also known as ECRAF, works in Vietnam to support farmers in utilizing agroforestry and conducting research. With the support of the Australian Center for International Agricultural Research, or ACR, and in collaboration with the local partners, the project Agroforestry for Livelihoods of Small Holder Farmers in Northwest Vietnam has been implemented in Sơn La, Điện Biên, and Yên Bai provinces. The project seeks to increase land productivity, diversify products, and conserve natural resources in Northwest Vietnam. Agroforestry is not a new theory or concept. It has been applied by humans for a long time, especially in tropical and subtropical regions. The basic principle of agroforestry is to diversify products to achieve stable productivity. The AFLI project aims to intercrop long-term plants and short-term plants such as maize and cassava, which are locally available. After five years of conducting numerous experimental trials alongside farmers, athletes' preliminary results are promising. Still in its early stage for trees, the trials already show environmental benefits on the lands and economic gains for farmers. Farmers gain fodder for livestock from the contour grass strips used to stabilize soil and earn income as trees begin to fruit. Soil loss has notably declined in comparison with the previous monoculture systems. We decided to expand from the initial trials after we saw the effectiveness of the trials. This year, our income comes mainly from coffee, which we were able to harvest 1.3 tons. In addition to on-farm experiments, a number of other activities were developed with the voluntary collaboration of farmers. Seven group nurseries were established to meet the seedling needs of the farmer demonstration trials. Extension materials were produced in various formats, providing information on establishing and managing nurseries, grafting techniques, top working, and pruning. Nếu như trước kia thì có thể là mình chỉ đi biết là đi mua cây giống thôi, một cây giống cũng không biết nó là cây giống gì. Before, I only bought seedlings, but there was no way to know their quality. Now, the researchers of the project guide us in establishing the nursery, purchasing quality seeds, and have shown of grafting techniques. It's our own business that we can continue to ensure our lives in the future. Following the initial success on on-farm trials in Sơn La province, the project is scaling up. Jointly with farmers, households and extension centers in Maison district, ECRAFT established an exemplar agroforestry landscape in 2015. The exemplar landscape spans 50 hectares, over which 22,000 trees will be planted. Fruit tree species include longan, mango, plum, pamelo and lemon. 
approximately 50,000 meters of forage grass have been planted along contour lines on sloping maize fields to produce animal feed and control soil erosion. The active participation of over 30 farmer households is entirely voluntary. After farmers in the area were taken to visit other agroforestry trials and witnessed the benefits for themselves. Before participating in this project, I had a chance to visit the model in Tân Quế, Gonoi, during a trip organized by ECRAF, the Provincial Extension Center and District's Extension Station. Through the visit, we realized how effective the practice was. It was implemented on sloping land, which is similar to cultivation land where the trees were cut down, leading to severe soil erosion. That's the reason we decided to participate in the Example Landscape project. The effectiveness of agroforestry practice has gradually convinced not only farmers but also the local government. Thanks to the support of the local government, we were able to implement a demonstration model of a large area of 50 hectares in the last eight months. We will also carry out a similar model of 50 hectares in Yên Bái province. The positive effects of the project were clear to the farmers and didn't go unnoticed by the local authorities either. In witnessing the real impact agroforestry has made, the People's Council of Yên Bái has incorporated these scientific innovations into development support policies at a large scale in 2015. The People's Council of Yên Bái has issued development support policies for the sustainable cultivation practices on sloping land in poor areas. Incentives include subsidy of 1 million Viet Nam Dong per hectare for farmers to grow grass strips to prevent soil erosion, while increasing maize yield and providing feed for livestock, and a subsidy of 6 million Viet Nam Dong for every hectare of Sơn Cha, for Chạm Tấu and Mù Căng Chai districts. At the project's annual meeting in 2016, ECRAF and participating farmers welcomed international experts and partners to visit the trials and demonstration fields. They are very happy with the changes in the long-standing habit of monoculture on sloping land of the local farmers. The fruit trees integrated in the agroforestry system such as longan, mango, plum and coffee are producing first fruits. Through the activities of the project in the last five years and through the reports of participating organizations, I can see that the biggest benefit for farmers in the three provinces is that they understand the agroforestry techniques on their land. And in addition to that, technical staff and project researchers have helped them better understand the long-term benefit that they can attain later on. The athlete project sought to offer a potential solution to reconcile trade-offs between economic growth and environmental protection. It started on a small scale, but as the benefits of the project began to be realized with tangible impacts on income and land decoration, the methods of the project and agroforestry scaled out. The success of the Appleaf project does not end here. It lives on with the farmers, armed with the skills and knowledge to expand agroforestry from their plot to the landscape. <laughs>